Welcome to the tutorial of how to count the direct and indirect impacts of x variables to y variable for path analysis. According to this path analysis diagram, we can count the direct and indirect impact of these three variables. We have to fill this coefficient beta for leadership, motivation, and compensation. The coefficient beta of leadership is this. Coefficient beta of leadership is 0 0.225. 0 0.225. And the coefficient beta of motivation is 0 0.435. And coefficient beta of compensation is 0 0.269. And we have to <coughs> fill the correlation of its variables. The coefficient correlation of leadership and motivation or we call it x1 x2 is leadership and motivation 0 0.539 and coefficient correlation between motivation and compensation is 0 0.722 and coefficient correlation between leadership and compensation or x1 x3 is 0 0.510 so if we have finished filling this coefficient we can count both direct and indirect impact the direct impact of leadership the direct impact of leadership to productivity is the coefficient beta of leadership multiple it with coefficient beta of leadership and coefficient and direct impact of motivation is uh, coefficient beta of motivation multiple it with coefficient beta of motivation and compensation the direct impact of compensation is coefficient beta of, co of compensation multiple it with coefficient beta of compensation now we have this direct impact of each access variables so let's count for indirect impact of leadership motivation and compensation. Indirect impact means the impact given by the x no, the x variable through the other variables. So let's count the indirect impact of leadership to motivation. I mean the the indirect impact of leadership through motivation to productivity or indirect impact of leadership to productivity through motivation just uh, just uh, concentrate with these three arrows leadership to productivity through motivation so to count the indirect impact of this variables yes look at this step leadership this arrow it is coefficient beta of leadership multiple it with 
coefficient beta of motivation motivation and multiple field with coefficient correlation between leadership and motivation leadership and motivation now we got you let's count uh, the indirect impact of leadership to productivity through compensation leadership through compensation just concentrate to this three arrow leadership compensation and productivity coefficient beta of leadership multiple it with coefficient beta of compensation multiple it with coefficient correlation between leadership and compensation we got it let's count the indirect impact of motivation to leadership motivation to leadership through leadership to productivity let's concentrate to these three arrows this variable is equal with yeah let's concentrate <coughs> to these three arrows <coughs> motivation leadership productivity so coefficient beta of motivation multiple it with coefficient beta of leadership and multiple it with coefficient correlation between leadership and motivation this number are same because it's using the same variable so let's count for the indirect impact of motivation and compensation compensation and motivation and compensation concentrate to this three row motivation Coefficient beta of compensation Coefficient correlation between motivation and compensation Let's count for uh, indirect impact of compensation and leadership Compensation and leadership Let's concentrate to this three arrow Compensation Coefficient beta of compensation Multiple it with coefficient beta of leadership and Multiple it with coefficient correlation between leadership and compensation Leadership and compensation Same value because it using same variable Next, the indirect impact of compensation and motivation Indirect impact of compensation through motivation to productivity concentrate to these three arrows compensation coefficient beta of compensation multiple it with coefficient beta of motivation and multiple it with coefficient correlation between motivation and compensation Same value because it's using the same variable. So after we got this indirect impact of each variable axis, now we can count the total impact of indirect impact. Total indirect impact of each variable. For indirect impact of x1 variable is <coughs> just count this. Direct impact of 
x2 variable and we got a feedback of x3 variable so after we got the direct impact and total indirect impact we can count the total impact of each variable just count the, di the direct impact plus total indirect impact it's it is total impact of x variable direct indirect and now total impact of motivation direct and indirect impact and for variable compensation direct impact plus indirect impact so after we got the total impact we can count uh, and sum it okay this number this value is the total impact of axis variables to y variable or we call it the r square the r square is must be same with the r square from the table of regression test on our SPSS that we have done before so if you look on our last tutorial the r square is the same with this it is 0 0.648 so let's count the epsilon is the epsilon is equal with this pet analysis diagram let's count 1 minus r square so look the epsilon is 0 0.352 0 0.352 it means our counting about direct and indirect impact of these variables are correct so what is r square and what is epsilon the r square means the total impact of excess variables that we use on this research it means the total impact of this research the impact of leadership motivation and compensation to productivity is 0.648 and what is epsilon epsilon is the total impact of the other access variables that we not included on our research out from this leadership motivation and compensation as we know there is another epsilon variable that influence productivity such discipline such uh, stress employees stress uh, work environment competition and so on so the epsilon of the other variables that we not included on this variable is low because it is under 50 percent we here got on the 0 0.352 or it means only 35.2%.